Hello everyone, welcome to SP3 tutorial series. In this video, we will learn how to place nozzle in horizontal drum. Okay. First of all, we will see the diagram. Okay. There are three kinds of nozzle. First of all is axial nozzle. Second is radial nozzle. And third is tangential nozzle. Okay. This is the axis of the drum. If any nozzle is in this axis, along this axis, then this nozzle is axial nozzle. Okay. In this, this M1 nozzle is axial nozzle. Okay. This is the radius of the cylinder. If any nozzle is placed in this direction, then those nozzles are known as radial nozzle. Okay. This nozzle, these two nozzles, and these two nozzles are radial nozzle. Okay. Any nozzle which is tangential to the this axis, those nozzles are known as tangential nozzle. Okay. So these these two nozzles are tangential nozzle. Okay. We will create one by one. Every nozzle. We will see first of all we will create this M1 nozzle. Size is 450 and that rating is 300. Okay. We will go to the software first. Okay. First of all, go to this plant, go to metric unit, click on OK. This window will appear. In this, go to file, define workspace, go to this filter, go to more, and select the previously created filter. Click on OK. Now this equipment will come, which we have created. Drag this, expand this, and these are the components which we have created earlier. Okay. In the task, go to equipment and furnishing. Click on this base shapes. Drag it there. Click on the common views. Drag it here also. Okay. In this common view, change the view. These are the components which you have created in the previous video. Okay. Today we will create one nozzle. Okay. First of all, we will create M1 nozzle. Okay. For M1, for creating nozzle, first of all, we have to create the data point that is DP. Click on the cylinder D1201. Click on this icon of DP. Okay. Give the name DP and click, click on OK. After this, go to this pinpoint option. Click here 0, enter, 0, enter, again 0, enter. Click anywhere on the screen and rotate the DP with the keyboard button, keyboard arrow button. Okay. Now your DP is placed. After clicking on this DP, this is the nozzle option. Here, click on this. A window will appear in this. First of all, give the name M1 nozzle. Size is 450 mm. Class is 300. Go down. Change the nozzle length. Okay, we will see the nozzle length. This is the DP. Our DP is here. Now, this is. 230 plus 380. Okay. We will place this length approximately less than that length. That is uh, 610. So we will place it a little bit uh, less. That will be 450. We will take. Then go to this location. Go to this arrow. Change it to Excel nozzle. Now N1 is the position minus 610. Okay. This is the data point. Our nozzle is going from this side. Therefore, this negative sign will come. Okay. N2 is at the center. Therefore, N2 is 0 and degree is also 0. Click on OK. Now this first nozzle is created. Then we will create second nozzle. First of all, click on again DP. In this DP. After this DP, click on this place nozzle option. This window will appear. Give the name N1. Okay. Then the size. Size is 80 mm. Okay. Now length we will give 450. Okay. Or we can give it more also. Uh, we will give 500 for now. Okay. Length we can change. Okay. N1. First of all, we will go to this. N1 nozzle is radial nozzle. So we will create this 
this value is we will see here this value is 508 we will place it 508 into is 800 and angle will be we can write 270 okay we can see in other views also this is 270 okay this is placed you can see here this nozzle is placed okay this is 270 this is 90 degree okay bottom side nozzle will be at 90 degree okay when we will click on this we will go on this okay. now we will place the second nozzle n2 nozzle again click on dp place nozzle give the name n2 size is same class is same go to location n1 will be changed 508 plus 3832 that will be 4340 okay and the angle will be same click on okay now this nozzle is also placed now we will place n3 nozzle for n3 nozzle click on again dp place nozzle occurrence write the name n3 the size of the n3 nozzle is 100 okay location we will give n3 nozzle is at the bottom position see that here is the n3 nozzle this is the n3 nozzle this is at the bottom position and the distance is 4210 plus 360 that will be 45 70 into will be 800 again and the angle will be this is uh, 270 therefore the bottom angle will be 90 degree click on ok now n3 nozzle is also placed for n4 nozzle click on dp again place nozzle occurrence go to this give the value n4 here n4 n4 nozzle is 40 mm give 40 value for location again okay. n4 value is n4 nozzle is same 4570 800 and this is 270 Up, upper side okay now this nozzle is also placed now we will, we will place here one nozzle is there n5 nozzle click on dp again place nozzle give the name n5 okay the size of the nozzle is 50 class is 300 only we will go to this location this is 4210 this is 800 and this is upside is 270 therefore downside is 290 no, sorry 90 degree okay this nozzle is also placed now we will place two tangential nozzle okay these two nozzles we will place see the distance is 4210 from the dp and this distance is 530 okay we will place it for that again click on dp place nozzle okay first of all we will put put N6 size is 50 class is 300 that's not same go to location changes to tangential nozzle first of all this distance this is 4210 okay n2 is n2 is 800 only and n3 is okay. n3 is 530 and we will take the angle for now 0 ok we will click on ok now it is placed here we will see in other views this is this came here or n6 nozzle is uh, we can see in this figure this is our n6 nozzle 
that would be at the upper side so we will change we will change some properties go to this right click properties and we will make it minus 530 and click on apply now this nodal is placed we will click okay okay this distance we can change also go to properties again we will change it to 500 apply it it is going little bit far we will give it 650 apply it now it's okay okay now we will place n7 nozzle for that again dp place nozzle change the name n7 location this is tangential 4 to 1 0 distance is same this is 650 we will take 530 and 0 click on okay this nozzle came here okay all the nozzle are placed you can see in other views also one nozzle two nozzle three nozzle four nozzle five nozzle this is six nozzle and seven eight eight total eight nozzles are there i hope you understand this video we will continue further in next video till then thank you